Thanks, Lord. Uh, I come here tonight as a follow-up to a previous issue I had brought to your attention and requested a council investigation into allegations of excessive towing fees. I was referring to an over $2,000 towing bill for an auto lot that had their car uh, stolen, recovered by uh, our current city tower who is acting as our city tower while our, our uh, convicted city tower is no longer towing for us. So with that being said, I, I'm wondering, did council in fact investigate my allegations? Did they pull the tow slips for the time periods in question? And did we find out if someone was in fact charged over $2,000 for one vehicle tow? And what the circumstances were? I don't know how much a tow should cost. I, I, I honestly do not. So I couldn't say 2000 it seems excessive. Maybe it isn't. I, I don't know. But at any rate, I asked for the council to investigate that allegation because from what I understand, it did seem like you know, it was an excessive amount. I, I, I had my, my vehicle towed when it broke down. AAA didn't charge me anywhere near that. Um, so as, as a, a taxpayer, is that a true topic? Uh, I was going to touch briefly on some of the other things. I know you said you wanted to maintain order as to the reason we don't allow people to come in late or sign in late. Uh, and Mike, you've been here a while. Uh, Bill, you've been here a while. And as I have been here a while with you guys, uh, I don't remember uh, people coming in and, and were unorderly. They would motion to Lisa from the back. She would bring them a slip. They'd fill it out. It was quite orderly. I don't remember people coming in hooting and hollering that they needed a speaker form. So I, I think if someone came in a minute or two late because they were rushing from work, getting out at exactly 6 o'clock to be here to a 6 o'clock meeting when our meetings used to be at 7. And I understand that, that people are busy and have lives. So, uh, you know, with that being said, I, I think a little leniency sometimes is a good thing. No, I, I'm good, Mike. You, you can. Um, as far as that uh, goes, Frank, we have forms that if you drop off and you have a spot whether you're here or not. Mm -hmm. That person wants to come here every week because they worked at six o'clock. They know they can't get here. We'll get them gladly accepted. <coughs> and, and it's on. Yeah, I, I am aware. It, and like I said, I fill mine out at the beginning of the year, and I appreciate that courtesy of allowing me to do that, so that I always have the privilege. But again, I'm a regular here. Some people aren't. Some people, you know, they, they wake up Wednesday afternoon and they have a problem and they think, well, tomorrow is council and I'm going to go. And they've never come before and they don't know the rules of procedure. And, and they're not a regular as we all are. We all know the rules because we were here. I objected when they were being passed. I said, hey, these rules are not good for the people, the, the working folks. And you guys passed them anyway. You basically said, Frank, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. We want to maintain order because people like Bob, he, you know, they're crazy. They come up here and they... You know, they're loud, and, and we want to limit free speech as much as possible, is basically what you said. Although, of course, you didn't say that, but it's basically what you guys are saying. So, you know, with that being said, I, I just ask again, if someone comes in a minute or two late and, and is orderly and asks for leniency, that you might want to look and say, well, they're not a regular, they don't know the rules. Except, exceptions for the rule may be warranted in certain cases. Certainly someone like myself who knows the rules, you know, I, I can understand you telling me no if I came in late. I get it. But a new person, no, we shouldn't do that. Uh, as far as the towing goes, Frank, and I may be wrong, but the last time I remember you talking about this was probably four or six weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And it was towards the end of the meeting or the end of your presentation. Yeah. And uh, I remember you saying you were going to get details. I was uh, asking. You were going to get a copy of. Uh, right. I also asked you guys to please look into that. I'm sorry, but I don't remember that. All right, I will make that request here again on the record. Please, counsel, use your investigative powers. Right. Ask for yes. the receipts. If you can get with Jim after the meeting or myself and give me the name of what we're looking for, who was charged this amount, okay. we've got to start somewhere in roughly the time frame. And we'll take a certain we'll take it's a look. The old National Motors. Frank, Frank, if I could just say something before you sit down. Um, I did look into that, and, and I believe that there was multiple units that were needed to uh, retrieve that, that vehicle. I think it was a Jeep, if not mistaken. And uh, I don't have specifics because I just checked into it quickly, but I believe that there was more than one tow truck. There was multiple tow trucks that were needed okay. for that. Dear and God. 
get more information. <coughs> that, that was so you are looking into it, Mr. Brown? Yeah, and okay. uh, I'll leave a couple Thank right, you. Well, Mr. Brown, can I just ask if you share your findings with the sure. council? Thank you. Thank you.